The minority has blamed the current power outages being experienced in the country on financial crisis that has hit the power producers. There's been fluctuations in power supply in recent time with little or no explanations for it. Ranking member on the Energy Committee has alleged that the technocrats managing the sector have been gagged from speaking to the issue. If you take the various agencies, they are, they are in financial distress. And therefore, Grico, for example, before we left office, made a profit of 69 million Ghana cities in 2016. It slipped to a loss of 31 million Ghana cities in 2017. A loss of 118 Ghana cities in 2018 and over 100 Ghana cities in 2019. A loss since this government came to power. Million. Over 100 million in 2019. This, since when this government came to power, all the power sector agencies have now been able to function. And once they are not able to function as expected financially, you can have the structures. Once they are not maintained, you have power outages. We shouldn't be having power outages by now. But because of the incompetent and the corruption in the power sector, we are still experiencing power outages at this time of our development as a country. And I call on the government to ensure that these frequent power outages is brought to a halt. Right. This is a huge issue. And we're going to speak to Kojo Poku right now. Kojo Poku is an energy expert. And Kojo, good evening, and thank you for agreeing to speak to us. Hello, Kojo Poku. Yeah, hello. Hi, good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you? I'm very well. Good evening to you. Thank you, Kojo. Great. We understand um, that there is a problem facing power producers, and it has to do with finances. What do you know about that? Tell us. Well, um, I, I, I don't think it's true. Uh, we've all been reading the, in the papers um, since yesterday. Greco came out with a statement about the problem in the Tiwa Forest where some lines have come down and they've been working around the clock to resolve this problem. Um, I think in the past week or two, there has been some shadow maintenances by Greco and some of us have been following that. Um, this issue of financial challenges, this issue of um, has always is there. I mean, it hasn't gone away. So when um, someone like my brother Mutawakilu makes a press conference to say that, oh, it's because of these financial challenges that we are having light outages, uh, it's really not true because it's never been a time during the year when these financial problems have gone away. Um, the IPPs have been old. Government at a point before the COVID tried its best to um, defray some of these costs. But because we now went through COVID, most people are not paying their bills. Um, the money collection, as in bills collection at ECG, is very low. Though so they are doing the waterfall arrangement where everybody gets paid from the top and the rest goes towards the distribution charge to ECG. Because collection is low, the IPPs are not being paid their full money. Everybody is aware of that. But I don't think it's because of that financial challenge that our lights are going off. That mm -hmm. So, so uh, uh, Kojo, well, Kojo is gone. <laughs> but we, we really need to speak to him. But I guess due to time considerations, we'll not be able to fire more questions to him. Kojo Puku is an energy expert. We are thankful for your time, Kojo.